in the name of Allah who is most magnificent and most merciful. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Fatima Nasir. I am from University of Education, Lower Mal Campus, Lahore. The subject is Evolution and Principle of Systematics. And today's topic of discussion is Micro Taxonomy. So let's start with today's topic. These are the some points which we will discuss in today's lecture. Uh, first one is Micro Taxonomy, then Classification System. Phenon, taxon, taxonomy categories, higher taxonomy categories, and infraspecific categories. Uh, now, first of all, what is micro taxonomy? Micro means small, and taxonomy means division or classification of organisms into different categories, uh, into different ranks. In 1975, Mayer and Ashlock first put forward the concept of micro. Taxonomy. Mayer and Ashlow gave the concept of micro taxonomy in 1975. And now, the definition of micro taxonomy. Micro taxonomy deals with the study of variations, relationship, and characteristics on a small scale. As I have told you, uh, the uh, meaning of micro is small. So, micro taxonomy deals with uh, these with the things at a smaller scale. It deals only with the problems related to species. As we know, that species is the lowest, uh, cat lowest category in the uh, lowest category in the hierarchical system of classification. That's why micro taxonomy deals with uh, deals only with the things related to species. Everything, every problem, everything related to species will be discussed in the field of micro taxonomy. One of the major problems micro taxonomy evolves around the concept of species. Uh, many different concepts were given on the uh, term species that what is species, uh, how the organism, how different organism will form a species, and what will be the characteristics of species. Uh, so, different, many different concepts were given uh, on the term species. So, a uh, micro taxonomy deals with all those problems related to the concept of species. Micro taxonomy involves the study of concepts of species like typological species concept, uh, nominalistic species concept, biological species concept, and evolutionary species concept. As I have told you just now, that uh, 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 many concepts were given. Uh, to to explain the term species so these are the some different uh, names of concepts that were given for the uh, for the explanation of the term species micro taxonomy deals with problems like evolution of species estimation of population of species in the living world or in special groups of organism to which any two three or all species definitions can apply it means that uh, evolution of species. Uh, it means that micro taxonomy deals with evolution of species. Means how different, how new different species uh, were formed with the passage of time or evolved with the passage of time. It also gives the estimate of uh, total population of species in the living world. That how many species are present in the living world and the implementation of definition of species to those individuals or organisms as in the previous slide we uh, have discussed about different species concept uh, because there were different species concept that's why there were different uh, definitions for the term species so it for it was very important for uh, organisms to uh, fulfill the requirements which are uh, to fulfill the term species that's why they are saying that to any two three or all species definitions should apply to the newly formed uh, organism or species micro taxonomy covers a diversity of topics including species concept infraspecific categories population structure different kinds of variation within species methods for comparing population samples and speciation these are the some topics which are discussed in the term of micro taxonomy and these all are related to the uh, species not any other taxonomy uh, not any other taxonomy category 
so uh, it shows that microtaxonomy deals only with the deals only with species it uh, microtaxonomy deals with everything that is related to the species diversity the number of living species may be as great as 100 million speciation may have occurred billions of times in the last 3.8 billion years uh, it shows that we have a very diverse uh, variety of animals uh, throughout uh, throughout years or throughout the time uh, since now we have a, a very long list million billions of animals so it was very much important to classify all of the animals uh, into different groups so that it will be easy to identify and to study a specific animal or specific organism here uh, i have uh, mentioned a term speciation so what is speciation speciation means the formation of new species from previously existing species means uh, uh, from previ previously existing population some organisms separate from the population and they make their own uh, new uh, new population so that is called as speciation okay <clears throat> now the classification systems first of all phylogenetic classification system a uh, group of uh, in in final genetic classification system the group of organisms reflect genetic variability and evolutionary relatedness genetic variability means uh, genetic variability shows the tendency of changes in genetic makeup through different uh, populations it shows how uh, much change how much change in the genes have been occurred throughout the population and evolutionary relatedness shows the relationship uh, between different individuals in the evolutionary history. The phylogenetic classification is based on phylogeny of the involved organism. Phylogeny means its uh, history, uh, its evolutionary history, means how the organism evolved uh, 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 in the process of, of evolution and depends on the phylogenetic branching pattern. Uh, you must know about the phylogenetic tree. A phylogenetic tree shows the relationship of different individuals with each other and their ancestors. Uh, so it make a, it may, uh, the tree makes a branching pattern. That's why we are saying that phylogenetic branching. In this type of classification, the sequence of branching events in the evolutionary history of the group is determined means if you want to if you want to have a if you want to know about the history of any organism then by uh, studying its branching events we can then by studying its phylogeny or branching events we can easily uh, we can easily reach up to its ancestor that how that organism evolved from its ancestor into the newly present form now the number two phenotypic classification system what is phenol a phenol is a group of organisms which is recogni recognized simply on the basis of similarity of characters regardless of any biological interaction or genetic relatedness so a phenol can be made um, by grouping of organisms that will be recognized only on the basis of similarity of characters not any other morphological character any other biological uh, character or genetic relatedness nothing is required the similarity of characters is required to make a group of phenol this classification is primarily based on similarities and dissimilar dissimilarities of characters here the total number of characters is much more important than the quality of each character used uh, because phenol is made up by the uh, uh, by the grouping of organisms on the basis of similarity of characters that's why total number of characters is much more important than quality of characters and uh, if we have one single if we have one strong character and many other variable characters then one um, one strong character uh, is enough to make a phenol rather than using many other variable characters this shows the importance of the character in the phonetic classification system 
दैट फिनोन कैन बी मेड बाय ओनली यूजिंग वन स्ट्रॉन्ग कैरेक्टर अकॉर्डिंग टू एडेंसन सेवनटीन द यूज ऑफ मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ करेक्टर्स इज डिज़ायरेबल द फिनेटिक मैथड इज समाइम कॉल्ड नियो एडेंसन क्लासीफिकेशन नाउ द नंबर थ्री इज टेक्सॉन वट इज टेक्सॉन टेक्सॉन इज अ ग्रुप लेवल ऑफ क्लासीफिकेशन इट कैन बी एनी पर्टिकुलर ग्रुप विद इन अ टेक्सॉनोमिक सिस्टम एज वी नो दैट टेक्सॉनोमिक एज वी हैव स्टडीड इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स अबाउट टेक्सॉनोमिक कैटेगरीज और हरारिकल सिस्टम ऑफ क्लासीफिकेशन इन हरारिकल सिस्टम ऑफ क्लासीफिकेशन वी हैव डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज थ्रू विच वी कैन कैटेगराइज द ऑर्गेनिजम्स दैट कैटेगरीज आर किंगडम फाइलम क्लास ऑर्डर फैमिली जीनस एंड स्पीशी दिज ऑल आर दिज ऑल आर द टेक्सोन्स वन कैटेगरी वन वन ग्रुप ऑफ लेवल वन ग्रुप और लेवल ऑफ क्लासीफिकेशन इज कॉल्ड एज टेक्सॉन द बेसिक लेवल ऑफ क्लासीफिकेशन इज स्पीशी दैट इज फॉलोड बाई जीनस फैमिली ऑर्डर क्लास फाइलम और डिवीजन इन असेंडिंग ऑर्डर सो ईच ऑफ दीज कैटेगरी इज कॉल्ड द टेक्सॉन हेयर यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर ईच कैटेगरी दैट ईच कैटेगरी इज कॉल्ड द टेक्सॉन इन दिस क्लासीफिकेशन स्कीम ओनली स्पीशीज इज अ रियल कैटेगरी द स्पीशी इज द बेसिक यूनिट ऑफ क्लासीफिकेशन द ओनली रियल यूनिट एंड हायर टेक्स आर प्योरली मिथिकल क्रिएशन टू हेल्प अस अंडरस्टैंड रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन ऑर्गेनिजम मीन्स दैट स्पीशी बिकॉज स्पीशी इज मेड अप ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम्स दैट आर रिलेटेड टू ईच अदर एंड दैट कैन इंटरप्रीड फ्रीली अमंग दैम सेल्स दैट्स वाई दे आर सेंग दैट स्पीशी इज अ रियल कैटेगरी एंड द अदर ग्रुप्स आर फॉर द अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन डिफरेंट ऑर्गेनिजम्स now category versus taxon what is category and what is a taxon taxon is a group of living organisms and category is the uh, name of that taxon category is the rank status or name of that taxon for example in humans we have order primate here the primate is the taxon and order is the category we we talked about order primate primate is the name of uh, primate is the uh, is taxon and uh, the category is the order today the generally accepted categories in the animal kingdom are the following here we have 18 categories which are uh, being used nowadays for the uh, classification purpose next we have taxonomic categories the taxonomic category can simply define as the system of classifying an individual into the specific group class and other categories in order to classify an individual or organism we use taxonomic categories the taxonomic category was first given by the scientist carl linnaeus in 18th century first of all uh, first he recognized only five category for the animal kingdom and those five categories were class order genus species and variety two additional categories were soon generally adopted when the number of known animals grew as with the diversity of the organisms two more categories were introduced for classification uh, the uh, first one was family and the second one was phyla Uh, the uh, the variety used by the linnaeus as an optional category for various types of intra specific variants was eventually discarded or replaced by subspecies uh, in uh, in the five categories that were recognized by uh, carl linnaeus in the fifth category that was variety was replaced by the uh, new category that is known as subspecies hierarchy of categories is the classification of organism in a definite sequence uh, of categories that are taxonomic categories in descending order starting from the kingdom the number of similar characters of categories decreases from lowest rank to highest rank here we have low, uh, lowest rank that is species and highest rank is is kingdom species uh, have organisms that are uh, 
similar to each other that are mostly similar to each other or relates to each other so uh, on the species level there is more similarity of characters between the organism and when we move from this lowest rank to the upper rank uh, or the highest rank that is kingdom these similarities will be decreased at each step and uh, and uh, at each step we will have more variety or diversification of organisms the hierarchy includes seven obligate categories that are kingdom division phylum class order family genus and species now the types of taxonomy categories taxonomy categories are divided into seven major types the first one is species what is species species is a natural population in which organisms are resemble to one another and they are also reproductive in nature they can interbreed freely and can produce fertile offspring here we have example of mangifera indica and panthera tigris uh, for example term indica in mangifera indica represent the specific epithet uh, what is epithet epithet is the second name in species as we know that species is made up of um, two names now the first one is written with alphabetic uh, 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 capital alphabet and the second one is written with small alphabet the second name is called epithet each uh, each species has one specific epithet and one generic name number 2 is genus genus is a group of related species which resemble one another in certain correlated character correlated characters are those similar or common features which are used in delimitation of a taxon above the rank of species and in genus many species which are resemble to each other are included due to the correlated characters so correlated character is basically uh, is the basic uh, uh, characters through which we can uh, move from the species level to genus level and we have much more variety of species in genus than species because species uh, is uh, composed of one single population and genus have many more species number 3 taxonomic category is family family is a taxonomic category which contains one or more related genera they have still less number of similarities as compared to genus and species as we are going upward in the hierarchical uh, or taxonomic categories and i have told you in the previous slides that when we move uh, upward from species level we will have less similarities and more diversification for example genus panthera including lion tiger leopard is put along with genus felis in the family felida all the animals like lion tiger and cat have some similarities but those similarities are not found in dog hence it is placed in another family canida so uh, all the uh, animals uh, animals like lion tiger cat they will be uh, uh, inclu uh, included in one genus that is panthera next is number 4 order an order is a group of related families that exhibit a few similar character for example family felida and and family canida are included in the same order carnivora because the members of family felida which are a lion tiger cat they they also eat they eat meat and um, a member of family canida that is dog they also eat meat that's why they will put in one order that is carnivora number 5 is class the class is a group of related orders for example uh, order primata comprising monkeys gorillas and gibbons are placed in class mammalia along with uh, order carnivora which includes animal like tiger cat and dog and they all having a common feature that is hair on skin and milk glands so uh, that's why class is a group of related orders because many uh, many orders can be summarized in the uh, category class number 6 division or phylum a phylum is a group of related animal classes the term phylum is used for animals while division is commonly used for plants 
phylum term is used for animals and division is used for plants a division or phylum is formed from one or more classes number 7 is kingdom it is the highest taxonomic category all plants are included in kingdom plant b while all the animals are uh, included in kingdom animalia the, um, that's why it is called the highest taxonomic category because it only have two subdivision uh, one is kingdom animalia and the second one is kingdom plantae there are some other uh, categories like subdivision some order some family tribe etc but they are not regularly used they are only used when they are needed as we have discussed about them in the previous slides um, only the seven uh, taxonomic categories are commonly used other categories are used only when there is need of those categories Thank you so much if you have any question you can ask in the comments